So last summer I built this dust extractor out of just a five gallon pail and one of these extension tubes for the uh, rigid shop vac. And some issues I noticed I was having with it was I made this piece coming out of the unit too long so it has a tendency to tip over sometimes. And I made the piece going into the bucket a little bit too short. Uh, it still works a lot better than just using the shop back. I find I don't have to empty it and clean the filter as often. So in this video I am going to make this shorter and this longer. So a look inside shows how I put it all together. I just cut this piece of wood to fit in I screwed it in to the side of the bucket and then a hose clamp just to hold this on. So to start I'm just going to remove loosen up this hose clamp. And now to try and get rid of this silicone. So I think the easiest way to do this will be to try and cut out all of the silicone. So there's the one piece. And now for the lid. So I used a 2x6 or 2x8 to mount the pipe in. So now I'm just going to clean it up. There's the second piece of pipe. So basically I just want to make this one longer and this one shorter. I guess I could have marked it first, but I didn't. So, I just need to make sure that it's, I have enough clearance to be able to put the hose on. Just about there. So, I can make this one So just like before, this is going to go in here. Now there's a lot less hanging at the side. Although, I could probably even make it a little shorter. While I was charging the camera, I recut and sanded off most of the burrs. So now I can tighten this down and seal it up. Now it's time to work on the piece that goes into the bucket. So, I'm just going to smear a bunch of silicone on there and screw it back down. Now 
now that that's done, and hopefully sealed, I can shove this piece back in. So right now there's a small gap between the lid and uh, the pipe and I'm going to cut that back a bit so that I can get some uh, silicone in there. So now I'll have a little bit of room to get some silicone. It's not pretty, but it'll work. Now this new pipe extends a lot further in to the separator, and hopefully that'll keep the circulating dust away from going into the vacuum. And this piece here is definitely a lot shorter, so hopefully it won't tip as easily. Thanks for watching.